Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse, the Mattel DC Multiverse Aquaman movie, Trench Warrior Collect and Connect Wave. I'm pretty excited because this is actually a wave I've been very excited to complete and build. And uh, most of these figures are really good. I actually think all of these figures look really good at least. The articulation on them, some of them aren't, aren't that great, but... Let's start from left to right here. Uh, I, and by the way, I love the Aquaman movie. I highly recommend watching it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very fun movie. Anyways, so let's start with Orm. I'm very disappointed by this figure because the it broke. Yeah. So I was trying to get the ab crunch to move forward more, but it was like, no, fuck you, and it broke. So I did buy another one loose for, you know, a lot cheaper, obviously. Um... I'm just very disappointed because I was really excited for this figure. I, I love the outfit he's wearing. I think he looks awesome. And I, I, I do like Patrick Wilson. And, you know, this is my first Patrick Wilson figure. And it broke. Uh, yeah, but it's very disappointing. Other than, you know, that and the articulation being okay, the figure itself is actually pretty nice. Um, I like the scales on him. It's, you know, the set is obviously very scaly, which... You know, obviously they're under the water, but the uh, helmet sculpt looks really good as well. I like the paint they use. I like the red eyes. I did not break out any, you know, other DC Universe classic figures to compare, so no Ocean Master comparison here. But so I think this looks really good. I like the purple on him. Looks nice, nice silver. And then looks good. See the Aquaman logo right there. So I guess it's the Atlantis logo, right? But yeah, very cool. I do like this. Look at those boots. Nice. You can see the cape. Looks nice as well. Nice, Nicely sculpted and everything. He does come with the trident. They all come with tridents, pretty much. But this looks, looks, this looks cool too, but... You know. Yeah, the purple looks nice. Yeah, man. I like this figure, but just disappointed that it did break in half. Now, I, I, I don't know if I blame myself or if I blame Mattel. Maybe I blame both of us because I was trying to get the ab crunch to go a lot forward than it should. And, and then it broke. But yeah, very disappointed about that. But still, great looking figure. Next up, the probably the most expensive figure in this whole wave, if not the collect and connect figure itself black manta yeah awesome looking figure if you were not able to get your hands on a dc universe classics black manta i think this is would make an excellent substitute um because i think this guy you know the great thing about it it's he's very accurate to the comics so that's good too but uh yeah man i didn't go over the articulation of orm whatever it's fine but, yeah, I love the helmet. I think, I always thought it was a little big in the movie, but, I mean, it's more realistic, I guess. But, yeah, I like the red that is here and there, and then nice red on the back. I like the uh, thrusters he has. They are articulated. I wish this blade was more straight, but it isn't, so it's fine. But, nice sculpt on the sword here. Hey man, very tactical looking. And, you know, that is kind of the point. He is a tactical army kind of guy, military kind of guy. Yeah, hey man. Really impressive. I think this is an awesome piece. The head will look side to side. Will look up and down, kind of, kind of, a little bit side to side there. The arms will move out like so. That's awesome. He can move that far up without breaking the tube, that far back, a uh, bicep swivel, uh, single jointed elbows does not meet the 90 degrees, swivel at the hand and hinge, ab crunch goes that far forward, that far back, waist swivel, hip joints move out like so, he can't kick out like so, back some, no thigh, oh well, yeah, there's the thigh cut, double jointed knees, and the feet will hinge. And there's a piece of hair in there. Ew. 
the feet will hinge and not pivot. So I really like this figure though. This is probably my favorite one, if not the collecting connect. Yeah, man, really like this. Next up, Aquaman. Actually, you no, know let's save the best for last. Let's put Aquaman there. Let's take a look at Mara. She comes with this very... I mean, I don't know. This is kind of ridiculous. It's very thin. It looks like a spear. Um, I don't know, but it's, it's not really that, that well sculpted or anything, but... It is what it is. And then the face scan, I think, looks good for the most part. I think this is pretty accurate. And I like how it... it sometimes the figures look ugly, you know, and um, not accurate at all. This is kind of accurate, and it's not ugly about it, so that's good. I like the tiara she's wearing. The, the paint on the hair looks good. I really like the, the color of the outfit, this teal color. Very aqua-like. Yeah, man. Excellent sculpt on there. You can see the Atlantis logo again. Nice gold bits. Yeah, man. Decent figure. You can very easily see the articulation. The head will c can move side to side. She can not look up, not look down. The arms will move out like so, which is good. You can get a bicep swivel there. You can move the arms all the way around. There is a single bend of the elbow, but I, I'm afraid to break it because quality control of these figures aren't that great, apparently. Uh, but you can get the arms to bend like that. Swivel at the hand, no hinge. There is a ab crunch that goes that far forward. Uh, that's kind of not back at all. There's a waist swivel. Hip joints will move out like so, which is actually pretty surprising. She will kick out like so. Back, not at all. Thigh cut, double, uh, nope, single joining knees. Whoops. And the feet will hinge and not really pivot. So, yeah, uh, good looking figure, but articulation, it's not there. Unfortunately, that is the case most of the time for DC Multiverse figures. Next up, Aquaman. Jason Momoa's Aquaman. He comes with the Trident, which looks really cool. I feel like the trident part should be a little longer, though. I like how there's some ancient text on the side of the handle there. And not, you know, meeting China. Oh, oh, there it is. It's a little stamp there, but... Yeah, I really like the paint they put into this, too. It's not just the plastic. I, I, you can feel the paint a little bit. But yeah, looks good, though. I do like that. He doesn't really hold it that well, unfortunately, but still... I think this looks dead on like Jason Momoa, which is awesome. Very surprising. Oh, God, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, the hair looks good. I really like the, the armor. I think he's a little chunky looking. I feel like he should be more fit. You know, more abs, more slender. I don't know. I like the... Uh, the belt he has here. There's the back of the figure. You can see more scales and everything. I like the gloves he's wearing. Very nicely sculpted and painted. Yeah, man. And the olive green looks good. And then the uh, lime green looks good as well. Yeah, man. I really like that. The head will look side to side. This is actually the only figure. This is the figure that started the wave that I bought. And I bought it loose. For a pretty good price, so and he came with all the pieces too. So, I mean, pieces by the one leg, but the head will look up, not at all, down, not at all. But he will look side to side slightly. The arms will move out like so. I'm a little concerned about this uh, bicep swivel there, but he does have. Oh, damn it! What are you doing? Right. He does have a bicep swivel in there. Single jointed elbows does not meet the 90 degree, but there is rotation in there. Swivel at the hand and hinge. The ab crunch goes that far forward, that far back. Waist swivel slightly. The arms will, or the legs, hip joints will move out like so. He will kick out like so, back a little bit, not really at all. Thigh cut, double joint knees, and the feet will hinge and pivot. So, this guy and Black Manta are definitely the uh, best articulated figures.
So, let me get this hold that. Yeah. I like this guy. I just wish he was a little skinnier. And that's about it. And then here is the Trench Boy. I think this guy looks amazing. I, I love this. I, 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 like, I want to army build this guy, but... I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna. I, I might wait a little bit on it first, but I think this looks amazing. Look at that head sculpt. That's awesome. Uh, I wish we saw more of the Trench Warriors in the movie. I wish the movie was actually about the Trench Warriors, but now they were only in it for a short amount of time. But you can open the mouth here. You see all the teeth. Looks awesome. If you haven't read Jeff Johns, you know first. Um, trade paperback from New 52 of uh, Aquaman. I recommend it highly. I think it's amazing. But, yeah. It is about the Trench Warriors for the, you know, most part. I mean, they kind of, it kind of ended a little too quickly, I, I feel, but I feel like they could have expanded on it. But, you can see the uh, fins he has all over his body and looks nasty as hell. I love how it looks slimy and everything. Yeah, man, look at that. I love the paint. Very flesh-like. Like, you can see the rib cage in there. Yeah, man. Very gnarly-looking figure. I love this. I like creature figures, and this is definitely a creature figure. But, yeah, man, look at that. And I love the hands, too. Very alien-like. Like Xenomorph, kind of. Yeah, man. Awesome figure. The head will look... Or the head can do a full 360. Like I said, the jaw can go up and down. He can look up like so, so you can get him in swimming poses. Poses. He can look down, not really at all. But the arms will move out like so. So the arms came with Mara. The body came. The body and the head came with Black Manta, and the legs came with Aquaman and Orm. So if you're curious about that, the arms can do a full 360. There's a single bend at the arm. Do they rotate? Yep, it rotates. Swivel at the hand and hinge. Hinge, come on, okay. The ab crunch goes that far forward, that far back, not very much. There's a waist swivel in there. Hip joints move out like so. He can't kick out like so. Back a little bit. Thigh cut, double joint knees. And then he has the uh, hind legs kind of thing going on here, so you can get the hinge right there. And you can't really get it to turn at all, so you can get it to turn a little bit, but I wouldn't mess around with it too much. Yeah, man. Look at this guy. I wish he was a little bigger. That's my only complaint. I wish he was a little bigger and he came with more paint. But other than that, I think this is an excellent Collect and Connect figure. And uh, it, it's definitely <laughs> definitely very unique, um, to say the least. But, yeah, man. Awesome. Love this guy. Uh, I know they did release the... Um, Willem Dafoe character from Aquaman, but, and I, I might get him, uh, he is very cheap, so, and I did kind of like the character in the movie, uh, but, I don't know, I wish the arm could bend a little better on this guy so I can get him holding his trident like a normal person, maybe the, I wish the trident was a little bigger as well, but, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like this review... Oh, yeah. Let's, okay, let's go from my least favorite to my favorite. So my least favorite is Mara. Um, just because she's not articulated at all, really. Um, then my next favorite... least fa uh, my I don't know. My next least favorite, I guess. My fourth favorite would be Orm because he broke. Uh, but the sculpting details on him is amazing. And he does have more articulation even though he is broken. Then I'm going to give it to Aquaman here, then Black Manta, then the Trench Warrior. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Aquaman. Great movie. And just for fun, you know, here's a little mini review of the Shazam. I think that looks like Zachary Levi. I think it's a little too uh, Jimmy Fallon-ish, but I think it, it's, they got it. I like the, the red he's wearing. It looks awesome. The yellows looks cool, too. I love the, the cape. The cape's very nicely painted. And he's very articulated, too, so that's great. So I got him in his lightning in his hands pose towards the, you know, the second act of the movie. But, uh, yeah, man, two awesome movies. I highly recommend watching them both. 
And uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'm trying to get this to look somewhat good. There we go. All right. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.